Hello there. Continuing on the video covering the Intergraph Intense 3D cards. Got the test bed up and running. So I've got the Pentium 2. What am I talking about? The Pentium Pro motherboard set up. Uh, Pentium Pro running at 233 megahertz, 500, 512 megabytes of cache. And we've got how much memory have we got? 256 megabytes of EDO RAM. Okay, just give you a we'll look at the card installed on the board. So there it is. So the first one we're looking at is the MSM T440. There you go, there's the Intense 3D brand branding. It's got Intergraph computers made in the USA. They're very high quality boards. Okay, let's get to Okay, we're at the Windows 2000 desktop. We've got the Intergraph MSM T440 installed, Windows 2000 running. Let's have a look at the drivers first, see what we've got. Okay, we've got default monitor on Intense 3D 2200. That's what the uh, drivers, that's what the card is referred to in the drivers. So let's have a look at the advanced settings, Intense 3D settings. So we've got some information about the card here. So we've got Intense 3D Pro 2200T, texture memory 4 megabytes. So we've only got 4 megabytes of texture memory. I thought we might have 16, only 4 on that uh, expansion card. Frame buffer 16 megabytes. And we've got the, the settings there, planes for pixel, image, image depth 24 bit. Um, overlay for stencil 6 so we've got all the um, all the settings there that we'd need for um, you know for professional software which uh, the, uh, which is what the card was uh, designed for we've got some performance settings here synchronized buffer swap to vertical sync you can enable anti-aliasing anti on lines and we've got the uh, colour format RGB or VGR. Okay. Let's um could be running the three cards so we'll run the same programs on each card to see what the performance is like. Firstly let's have a look at uh GL Quake. I've got Fraps running so I'm not gonna run a time demo. I'm just going to let Fraps run and give us a bit of an idea of the performance. So it's pretty, pretty awful. It's not great. So we're getting anything between whew, 8 and 18 frames per second. The sound's stuttering because of the low, the low frame rate. It's not brilliant. And just let it run until we get into the next room and then we'll stop it. So it runs, but it's not brilliant. I'd say it's, apart from when you get these dips in the frame rate, let's just stop the game. It's slightly better performance than the um, the Elsa Gloria XXL that I tested in the other video, which was a Glint TX chipset with two Glint processors. Slightly better performance. One thing I've noticed with this card is no um, no glitches in the driver, so there's no sort of graphical anomalies. I was having a lot of problems with the the Elsa Gloria, but with the Intergraph, the Intense 3D, the driver is pretty good, no problems. Let's have a look at uh, the view performance. So spec view performance 6.1.2. Let's run the first test. Got fraps running. I'm not going to run the whole test. It takes absolutely ages on these slow cards, but just have a look at the frame rate. So we're getting three frames per second on this model. Um, you know, textured model. Three frames per second. That's pretty poor. I think it was getting five frames per second on the Elsa Gloria Double XL. So that's not great. I'm going to close that down. 
Okay, so we've looked at Quake, look at spec view performance. Let's have a look at um, soft image. See how that performs. Oh, got an error there. Okay, bit of a crash. No, that's nothing to do with the graphics card, it's an occasion. Okay, let's let's load a scene up. Let's load a complex, well relatively complex scene up so we can compare. When we when we run the other cards. I don't think Fraps is gonna work in, in this program. Okay, so we've got this uh a model of um of a man, so in wireframe, yeah, it's reasonable. It feels reasonably smooth, but maybe a little tiny bit of choppiness, but not too bad. Let's shade, shade the view, and uh, oh, it's you know taking quite a while to uh, shade that. Let's turn off the optimization. See if we can move it about. Yeah, we can. Yeah, it's not. Not too bad. I don't. Let's. I don't think there's any textures applied here. It's enable hardware textures. And let's just see. I don't think there's any different. I don't think there's any textures applied. So yeah, I think that that feels pretty good. Pretty good to me. I'd say that's better than the than the Elsa Gloria and no graphical anomalies. The soft image works as well. Okay, um, so sum it up. Quake was well, not great, but I'd say better than the Elsa Gloria. Uh, the spec view performance seems poor. Maybe a lack of memory there. I don't know. And um, works works well in soft image. Okay, let's have a look at the next card.